Hey viewers, welcome to another game for the Catch of a Pro Gamer. And today we're doing a game of USA versus Germany, and we are watching from the perspective of Reginald once again. He's been posting quite a lot of games, and therefore I have quite a lot of videos from him. So this one comes from uh, Team Solo Mid.net, or no, Solo Mid.net, the YouTube channel. And um, yeah, it was just. Uh, Recorded from the live stream, obviously. And yeah, we're going to see him do brand once more. He starts off with Q here, which definitely is a mistake. Uh, he should be starting with W. And yeah, he just realized that he has Q. Um, I was assuming it wasn't <laughs> a mistake, but it still uh, it still does some damage. But it is way harder to land than the Q uh, than the W, and I think it's about the same mana costs. Uh, you definitely cannot use it as effectively to s get minions. But oh, guess level okay, two, he guys will guys get his uh, W, and um, yeah, not a good deal. But so level one, the enemy team apparently a lot stronger as they are taking the double golems here. And the only thing they can do to make up for that is to hope that the enemy team will lose some uh, uh will lose some some experience by well losing minions. And so far only one minion has died on the enemy side or for the enemy. That's going to be two or three to now Three, yeah. So, actually, by now it's worth it. So for the mid lane at least. And um, yeah, he's he missed one himself, but that's another one. And yeah, now they're coming in for a gank. Oh, he landed the stun! Wow. Nice one. Yes. <laughs> so maybe. Not as much as a mistake of a mistake as he uh, thought it would be, but definitely W and E are better farming tools than the Q is. But I guess at level three, everything will be the same as it normally oh is. God. Oh my God! I and my son. Yeah, he missed everything there. And. Had he landed all of that, he might have gotten really close to a kill, as you can see right now. There we go. First blood, and he even he even survives that. Wow. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect him to survive that. So the jungler is coming in to take over the lane, because otherwise the turret will be, well, damaged for about 20% probably at level 4. Uh, but yeah, the jungler is going to take quite a lot of damage because, well, melee champion against ranged champion. Missing the stun once more. Handbrand's going to uh, go back because he just wasted all of his, well, used all of his mana on um, damaging the jungler. So we're almost getting a, well, a successful gank off. It is still pretty successful because they did a lot of damage there. And one of the enemies has to go home now. And, well, they drew out a flash, which is probably worth it as well. But it would have been nice to get a kill, of course. It always is nicer to get a kill than just one of the uh, summoner spells. And in case you're wondering why summoner spells are considered to be worth it, it's because they have such a long cooldown. And yeah, if you can get someone to uh, to use the summoner spell, then the next time you gang them, it's going to be a lot harder to get away. For example, this brand this brand has uh, one escaping summoner spell, which is the flash, and then he has his uh, ignite. Well, the Ignite really, oh God, yeah, a lot of low-level players use it just for the extra damage. But what you use it for is for the final bit of damage. To prevent someone from uh, healing up with uh, with the uh, 
health potion or something like that. And this Reginald's really annoying with his commentary, because he keeps shouting and overloading the microphone, basically. Um, anyway, um, if he uh, if he uses his ignite, still nothing is really happening. I mean, he can. Uh, it's it's not a good thing to uh, to oh waste. Uh, almost dies here, and yeah, complete fail on uh, on his part there. And now he has to go back. But using the flash means that you cannot escape the next gank. So because he only has flash and no ghost, he can get away once. He can get out of a, a sticky situation once. But if you gank him right after that, so once he comes back into lane, then um, it is really hard for him to get away. So if he pushes the lane now, uh, Morgana saw him flash, so... Uh, she's going to call in the uh, the jungler, and are going to get off a successful gank. So he really cannot push the lane now, because well, obviously Brand isn't a very tanky champion, and um, yeah, two v one is a little bit too much to handle for him at this point. And wow, taking two tower shots to uh, well take about seven seconds off of uh, Morgana in lane. I'm not sure if that's worth it, because two tower shots is quite a lot and he doesn't have anything to heal up. So maybe his runes, but I doubt that very much. So he's going to have to use a health potion, so that's uh, 35 gold for, well, seven seconds of Morgana in lane. And it may be, uh, be worth it, I, I don't know. I mean, it depends on what he's doing here, but... If he just... Uh, had he pushed the lane into the turret immediately, so using all of his spells, might have been worth it. But apparently Brand a lot stronger than Morgana, in the early game at least. Because he could have killed her a couple of times already. Managed to do it once, so... At least uh, I forgot who he killed. It's probably yeah, Morgana. Like Doesn't matter in anyway. So now we're uh, three doors, rings, and boots level one, meaning that he is a lot more mobile and has a lot more HP than he had when the game started. And he is going to attempt to keep her out of uh, uh, gold and experience range. But yeah, with her uh, tormented soil, I think it's called, she can pretty much farm anyway. Because as you can see, she only needs to put it down once and then she gets all of the minions. It's kind of like fighting against Gragas. Gragas only has to toss in his barrel. And then he gets all of the minions. Well, at least the back minions, uh, yeah, in one shot, and then the front minions in the second shot. But there's not a whole lot you can do about that. He can just stand back and then come in once to throw out the spell, and then yeah, after he threw out the spell, he can back off once again, even before the barrel is at his final des destination. So it's really hard to harass him in that time. So as you also might have noticed, the dragon is, has been uh, warded for a while. So they want to keep track of what the enemy is doing. He's guiding all of the minions in one bunch here, so that he can finish them off with two spells. And he is very low on mana here, so I'm not sure if they want to fight this, because they're not actually going to win this. Oh! oh. Fun, wow, that uh, that ultimate from oh Gangplank God, really God, saved God. everyone there. <laughs> and they get another flash for that. 
and everyone has to back off. So, did they did they get dragon? Yeah, they got dragon. Yeah, he altered himself next to three people like a fucking retard. Yeah, I'm like, what the hell? I know. No, I need the next blue dude. So they did win that uh, that fight, and it's now four to zero. I'm expecting that to win anyway. I mean, Germany is not very good. Don't know if I said what this was. I'm pretty sure I did. It's USA versus Germany, but it'll be in the title, so you'll know anyway. And apparently, it's from Creative Nations. And this is game number three. I have no idea where the other two games went, but maybe I already cast them. Maybe they're just not on the channel. I have no idea. It doesn't matter anyway. Uh, the fact that it's game three means that it's uh, one and one, because <laughs> most of these uh, tournaments are best of threes. He's not actually going to go red, right? But yes, he is. Okay, whatever. He just took red for no good reason. Is there no... Is there no a AD uh, champion on this... Uh, <laughs> on this team? Yeah. I mean, Caitlyn is there. Right there, in the bottom lane. So, yeah. why not give it to her? I'm scared hmm. to do anything, dude. Because I don't have flash up. I mean, I understand this in, in one of his normal ranked games. But not in a tournament game. I mean, in a ranked game, or yeah, well, the the standard games they play, uh, it doesn't really matter what they uh, what they do. I mean, these guys can uh, outperform anyone. So, yeah, he's just uh, farming a little bit. He, he, the red buff does help w him with, uh, with the farming, obviously. Because it makes it so much easier to, uh, to get enough damage done with just your basic attacks. But Morgana, uh, by the way, has uh, blue. And blue on Morgana is really hard to beat. Blue on any caster is really hard to beat. I'm not sure why uh, Brand doesn't have uh, blue yet. But Morgana can now spam all of her spells without uh, even watching her mana. And she can also spam a lot more spells because of the cooldown reduction. So all in all, it is, yeah, it is just awesome to get blue on any caster. And um, yeah. That's why people take it. That's why why it's so well. Why you give it to uh, to casters in the first place? Yeah, you could have definitely killed her. He hit the stun and didn't realize he hit the stun. But yeah, he's going to go back. Uh, Morgana apparently staying in. So if he uh, if she stays in. Then she's dead, the next fight. But yeah, she's going back now. She cleaned up all of the minions. and I think he could have killed her there with no, his red buff good. and a few basic attacks. Because all of his uh, all of his skills were on cooldown, obviously. But yeah, he used flash to get out and didn't really need to do that. I think he could have killed her. Who knows? We'll never, we'll never know. Maybe it was just too much anyway. But he definitely got scared and didn't realize he hit the the stun. It is the safe way to do it, but well, I'm not sure if he actually wanted to go the safe route <laughs> or that he just wanted to kill her. So there we go, blue now and. Uh, Enemy blue has worn off. So Morgana now on her normal mana, normal cooldown oh, reduction. And now uh, Brand with blue. Uh, so the cooldown reduction and uh, mana. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. You stupid bitch, why are you taking my farm? Mine. Damn it. 
So apparently not taking this match very seriously because otherwise he wouldn't have taken the raids from Amumu. Oh fuck, I'm dead. Uh -oh. Yeah, and with no flash to get out of this, he's oh going God, to I'm die. So so there I'm we so go. Fuck. So exactly what I said, uh, he used his flash in the previous fight and then he gets killed in the next one. That's exactly what should happen and he can even die again because his, uh, his uh, flash is not going to be up when he's back in lane. Nicely done. So yeah, when he gets back in lane, uh, there will still be uh, some seconds cooldown on uh, on his flash, so he can be ganked once again, and that's what the real pros in the real matches do. They keep track of who used what summoner spell and uh, well, what summoner spells are are available in the first place, and then once someone expands one of the spells, they will. Uh, they will try to gang them over and over again. Here, it's still 10 seconds. And by now, yeah. And I know this guy doesn't have any summoners, so yeah. Getting an easy kill there. And once again, someone coming up. They didn't really handle that uh, <laughs> the way they should have. They ran in with two champions instead of just one, and so both of them got damaged by the AoE spells. But got an easy kill out of it because going in 1v4, not the best of uh, of odds there. A Yorick, I haven't seen him played a lot in the uh, high level games. Maybe he is still very good, he used to be super overpowered when he came out. And I think he's still pretty good. He's pretty annoying at least. But yeah, okay, I don't know. I would have liked to see Yorick more of a Yeah, someone who fights with minions instead of just casting the minions for damage. Because now it's kind of like you're casting a spell and then the minions just disappear. I would have liked to see him uh, cast a minion and as long as the minion is alive he gains some bonus. So for example the uh, I don't know his Q is I think I don't know. You have one that has life steal. so for example as long as the minion is alive you gain 5% uh, or 10% life lifesteal depending on uh, on the level of course and then if you level them up they will become tougher so they will gain some magic resist and armor and health and you can keep them al uh, alive longer but you will still be the one doing all of the damage so they will be do will uh, would be very low damage but that would be a totally new mechanism in this uh, in this game and now it's just another aoe spell and another life steal and yeah, I see these uh, these creatures as basically damage over time spells. So basically, you cast a spell and it does some ba damage over time. And yeah, really, it didn't. It, although they they advertised it like it was something completely new, really isn't. It really, is just the same as other spells. And you have no reason to keep these uh, these minions alive. And are they actually, no, they actually are going to die, all of them. So the enemy, that is. <laughs> Brand du dishing out a lot of damage, but it's not really focused on one champion. It is kind of all over the place. Oh, yeah, no stun. And he's out of mana anyway. So they are going to go for this Morgana now. Morgana who didn't just run home, apparently didn't feel secure doing that. But they're not going to manage to pick them off. Oh, wow! This Morgana is dead now. Yeah, she took the wrong route. She 
she should have ran home in the mid lane already and yeah then ran into the bush here instead of just going behind her turret I mean, she apparently wanted to dodge some of Rand's uh, skill shots, but yeah, didn't manage to survive that anyway. So, not sure if that was the best solution to the problem. Oh my god, my the whole time. Fuck. Hey Dan, I was, I was, I was casting at you the whole time, dude. You were taking my shit. So they're going to take out mid turret here, there's nothing the enemy can do about it, um, there's no way you can defend this. And they might even pick off the next one. No, 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 no. Enough champions are now coming to the lane to defend that. And, yeah, by now they are way ahead at 14 and 1, just in case you didn't notice. Uh, they're probably still ahead in minion kills as well no reason to assume anything different and yeah I didn't assume Germany to have a good team anyway I still wonder how they got to win one game because if this is game 3 the Germany apparently won a game at some point but so he's going to steal the enemy blue, but yeah, at 15 and 1, there's nothing the enemy can do. Dan, you not take my blue, so this uh, this game will be over within five minutes because there's going to be a surrender. Or maybe they'll even kill the Nexus within five minutes. Although, I doubt that. You know, all these little differences between how much you know about the game if you're a German player in this case or if you're one of the USA players all of these things yeah these little play mistakes and things like that they make all the difference here and they make that this game is really really one-sided if only Brand hadn't died would have been 15 and 0 so Mumu going in, getting the massive stun off, and then the stun from Sona, but apparently, yeah, they were fighting without waiting for Brand. Meaning that now Brand, although he has all of the damage, he couldn't do any damage in the early uh, part. Ah, uh, triple kill, yeah. That was a triple kill. Very nice, but they do pick off everyone, I think. Yeah, so it's uh, it's five deaths. So they aced the team and they lost two champions in the process. But that's not a big deal. Why aren't they just taking out the inhibitor? Oh, it's already uh, surrender apparently. Okay, there's no surrender, but the enemy team is typing yeah, out. But yeah, there's nothing the enemy team can do here. <laughs> so, apparently this is how you play. <laughs> no, so there's no uh, surrender vote even. I mean, we would have seen if, uh, if there was a surrender vote, or I completely missed it, but... Oh, there there we go. 5-0. to zero. Wow. That was really, really, really one-sided. I didn't expect that. So scratch the 5 minutes and make it 2 minutes. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. GG. <laughs>